Say, hey, Joe here. <clears throat> so, before we get into a story, we need to discuss some things from last night's television. Mm. <clears throat> so, the season finale of Adventure Time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We learn that Finn's father is still alive. Um, and according to the advertisements, the new season starts next month. So we find out if he's alive then. I'm quite excited. Quite excited. So he's not the only human. Interesting. <coughs> I'm getting so chucked up about it. And then let's move on to Teen Wolf, shall we? Okay. Allison died. And Oni killed her. Her dying in Scott's arms, it just... The feels, hashtag the feels, or teary and such. Kip and I were watching it. He's willing to watch it with me. But, uh... I like Allison's character. Because she had a lot of growth. She became a horrible person in the second season. And then she got back to the good force, to the good side, in the 3A and 3B seasons. She was my least favorite character, let's be honest, she's my least favorite character, but... You know, she was, she was heart... She was a big part of the show. You know, I'm shocked her, her father, Gerard, didn't, wasn't killed before she was, but... You know, Crystal Reed, the girl who plays, um... Allison, she's 29, and she said in various interviews, and she's like, "Listen, I'm, I'm 29. I, I gotta, I have to stop, you know, playing high school students. It's time for me to move on." She's doing the appropriate thing, you know. The, the, she gave the writers enough time to to kill her off properly, but it still it hurts, you know. She's, this is a character, you know, 48, 49 episodes of with this with this character, and. You know, it, it hurts, you know, when people die in general, but, you know, when you watch a character grow, and then you watch them die, it's just, it's hard. And I know a lot of people are like, a lot of old-fashioned people are, oh, kids get too obsessed with these fictitious stories. Do you know why kids get obsessed with these fictitious stories? It's because reality sucks. Why do I write books? Because reality sucks. You need an escape. You know, it's, I'd, I'd rather write than, you know, shoot up heroin all the time. You know, I, I, I'm not a big fan of clouding your judgment <clears throat> by self-medicating yourself. I, 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 I personally think it's dumb. You know, people think it's right. That's fine. That's, you know, power to you. But I'd rather write or read or watch, you know, sci-fi shows to, to see those alternate realities, you know, it's, this reality sucks, so we want something to, to give us hope. And Team Wolf was sketchy in general. It's very modern, it's very hardcore for a MTV show, let's put it that way, horror-wise, plot-wise, story-wise, character development. I know I've talked about Team Wolf a lot, but Allison dying last night, that was... It was brutal. It was it was real. In this reality that, you know, the fandom has constructed. So I'm there with you guys. Now I'm all down and out. I don't really no idea what type of emotion is gonna come from this one particular thing. Story. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This is completely random. Okay. Hi Carly. Why is that a topic in there? I don't, I don't know. Um, interesting though, though, I was talking about TV shows, Adventure Time and Teen Wolf, and here we're talking about another t TV show. This is a TV show story. It's, it's interesting being psychic sometimes, and you can pick up on certain things and good times. Even though me talking about things that happened yesterday clearly have nothing to do with me talking about iCarly now, but we'll pretend they do. 
TV shows or TV shows. Um, iCarly was on for five years, seven seasons, I think. I don't remember. But, you know, it was a staple. You know, once Drake and Josh ended, it was devastating for everyone. Then there was two movies following that when the series ended. And then iCarly started right up. And then iCarly spawned Victorious and then Sam and Cat, obviously. But also Zoe 101, which I couldn't stand that show. But that was the Drake and Josh days, I believe. And they, they're all in the same universe. They all have the pear products instead of the apple products. And they all have Wahoo Punch. And, you know, they talk about this and they talk about that. Spaghetti Tacos have been in a lot of things, thanks to Spencer. I call these cool, though, because I was always compared to Spencer a lot. You know, a big kid who does art and who hangs out with kids much younger than him. You know, that's what the dear old skating days were. Good old times. <laughs> I miss those days. My favorite iCarly episode is the pranking one. I remember, I remember, it's, this is a Montauk story. Go figure. September or something, some year, I don't know, 2010, I don't know. Whenever their pranking episode, whenever iCarly's pranking episode happened, it was, uh, me, Tink, our friend Mike, and I think that was it. I think it was just those three in Mike's room. And, uh, we were watching Fred the Movie, because Fred the Movie was on, and we thought it was hilarious. So it's so stupid. Like the character himself. Lucas uh, Crookshank, he's, he seems like a pretty cool dude, but the character of Fred is just... Madness. So, uh, we were watching I Get Pranky. I think, oh, that's what it's called. And <laughs> it's a song, and Spencer's just dancing. He's going like this. And he's making faces. And it's just it was just so funny. We were all just dying of laughter, and we just mimicked Spencer for the rest of the weekend. I've made spaghetti tacos plenty of times. We've had spaghetti taco nights at our house. I'm so happy we've had. God, spaghetti tacos are so good. So good. So good. Hashtag so good. Hashtag food porn. Spaghetti tacos. Let me tell you. Amazing. Then, you know, obviously it was upset when, uh, I Carly ended. I actually, I had a, I had a series finale party. There was like 15 kids in the living room. We were all watching iCarly. When was that, 2011? Yeah, because it was like during the Thanksgiving break. So like everyone was home from school. Oh, man, it's rough. TV shows are rough. Man. No, that's what I want my stories. I want my stories to be a TV show. Because it has those elements of roughness. You're, you're just so in tune and in depth and loving a character. And then, bam, I kill him. Plot development, character development, stories, it's just, it's what you do. And on that note, good luck in this reality. We all need it. And stay on, brahis.